Thanks, John. With the Trump-Biden rematch all but guaranteed, Biden faces <clears throat> questions over the significant uh, numbers of uncommitted voters. Let's bring in Tulsi Gabbard, uh, Fox News contributor, former presidential candidate. Okay, so we see that it's not just the uncommitted, but it's the pro-Hamas wing of the Democratic Party right now. How big of a concern is that? I know everybody's talking about the drama in the Republican Party, but it looks like your former party has a problem on their hands. Yeah, I'd say they've got a pretty big problem because more and more Americans are recognizing what a failure the Biden-Harris administration's policies are for the American people. Uh, this, this is not something that's limited to Republicans, but they're independents and Democrats who are very frustrated with the most basic things. You mentioned a few of the uh, uh, groups who have made a very vocal stand against the president because of uh, their policies, that this pro-Hamas wing of the Democratic Party, as you put it. But, you know, there are folks across the country who are, who are recognizing that this administration uh, has stood for an open border policy that's made our communities less safe and causing incredible pressure on our country with millions of people illegally entering our country. They are recognizing, as we're seeing in some of the election results last night, at the, at the local and the state level, uh, recognizing that the defund the police policy of this administration has failed right. horrifically, recognizing that there are very real consequences to their lives, the safety of their kids, their, their kids' opportunity, and that, is, that has come about as a direct result of the failure of this administration. Right. And so that, that's the, the real debate, and that's the real truth that I hope continues to come out between now and November. There's a clear choice uh, in this election for all Americans, regardless of their party affiliation. Yeah, uh, Tulsi, you're the political expert, but sometimes you have a great plan, and other times issues come your way. For the longest time, President Trump says sanctuary cities are a huge problem. He tried to ban them. Everyone said you're a horrible person who doesn't like minorities. Now, guess what the White House said over the last few days? It's time for ICE to cooperate with local authorities. Really? Isn't that interesting? Now the border is broken. They're just deciding who broke it. And now we see crime overriding the cities. And now the anti-cop attitude has switched to a pro-law enforcement attitude because of the results of the policies we've been forced to deal with. How much of the issues of America have come back to Trump, allowing him to get this victory? I think that the biggest issues on the minds of Americans today are revealing the, the contrast between what Biden has done to this country and what, where we were as a country under President Trump. Uh, you know, I think a lot of the exit polls show that the foremost issues on people's minds are the economy and the border, right. border security. And on both of those issues, there is such a huge contrast between uh, the record of President Trump and the record of President Biden. With President Trump, we saw the economy uh, in a great condition. We right. saw a crackdown on our border security and the exact opposite coming from President Biden. Uh, so this is the, the, one of the things that I, I, I hope people are, are recognizing is how offensive the, the Biden-Harris administration's approach is to the American people where they can advocate for these policies for the last three plus years and now all of a sudden uh, policies that have made our country worse, not better, made our way of life worse, not better, and now all of a sudden flip the switch and mm. and, and think we are so stupid to believe the lies <laughs> they that they are telling us they now they didn't just happen. to get our votes. Yeah. Hey, uh, Tulsi, um, the breaking news is that the stage is now set for Trump-Biden rematch because uh, even though he won, he trounced Nikki Haley yesterday, she apparently, uh, you know, is going to, at 10 o'clock this morning, down in Charleston, is going to announce she's suspending operations. What's your observation about her dropping out? And where do the Republicans, I know you were a Democrat, then independent, but where do- And ran for president. Right, exactly. Yeah. But how, how do, uh, how does Donald Trump, for instance, get those independents and some Democrats to vote for him over Joe? I think, let, let's just first recognize what happened last night. Uh, she made her pitch to Republican voters and, and what we saw was a resounding rejection of what that pitch was, what she stood for. You know, she talked a lot about normalcy, a return to normalcy. Well, the normalcy she was advocating for was, was a, a continuation of making sure that we had a government of, by, and for the rich and powerful, but not of, by, and for the people. It was a continuation of this dangerous and costly neocon warmonger policies that have ruled over Washington for so long. 
and the American people have just had enough of that. So I think I think it's more about recognizing uh, where the American people are on these most important issues that that are not that are not exclusive to the Republican mm -hmm. Party or the Democratic Party or independents. It's about recognizing what is in the best interest of the American people and and how do we best enact those policies. And I think President mm -hmm. Trump has the opportunity and is continuing to focus on those issues that that people are most concerned about. Mm -hmm. There's yeah. been talk that uh, many in the party would like to see you on the ticket to be his vice president. What are, what's your response to that? I'd be honored to serve our country in that way and, and be in a position to help President Trump mm. actually solve these very, very serious problems that we're experiencing both here at home as it relates to border security, as it relates to our economy, as it relates to, to public safety, as well as the serious uh, na national security and foreign policy challenges that we face. Uh, there is so much at stake in this election. We cannot right. allow the Democrat elite, the Biden-Harris administration, continue to destroy our rule of law, our Constitution, and our fundamental freedoms that are enshrined in the Constitution. That's exactly right. what they're doing. All right, Tulsi, Tulsi. I, I can't imagine you not being in his cabinet if he does win, let alone running mate. Thanks, Tulsi Gabbard. Thank Appreciate it. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.